for today. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, when I got this truck, it came from a hunt club, and they uh, they definitely kind of used it. Anyways, I drove this thing like 500 miles and set the cruise, and man, it drove pretty good. So, anyways, long story short, I decided to go take it to have an alignment done. And the place was like, yeah, your truck's trash. We're looking at like $1,300 in repairs. I was like, come on. You know, even the tires aren't that eaten up. I mean, it can't be that bad. So, let me show you what I'm going to do today myself. This right here, some people call it a center link or a drag link. I picked up a new one. And I'm going to install it. And then this tie rod in. I picked up a new one and I'm going to install it. And what my game plan is, is just, you know, every time I get a paycheck, little by little, I'm going to just replace all the parts myself. And then when they try to tell me something's shot, I can tell where to shove it because I want to know I changed it. But yeah, so this is what we're getting started on now. I mean, if there was a way I could have somebody hold this and well, I did some of it. I would, but I don't have anybody here with me. What I do recommend, you notice how everything's wet? I'd already soaked everything down with a penetrating oil last night. And then I drove the truck today to go get the parts. So that should help really kind of break some of this stuff free. Hopefully. Anyways, alright man, time to get started. I'm going to pull the stuff off and then I'll take another video. Like I said, I got the new stuff and I'll, I'll show you that too. It took about... An hour and a half. You can see there's the new center drag link. Center link, drag link, whatever you want to call. Uh, I still got to get this thing aligned. So what I did was I, I made marks on the old one and took measurements. See, I took measurements and put it back in. I mean, it's not dead on. It's got to be aligned. But that gets you, that gets you in the zone. So... I recommend doing that. Um, it's hard to see. On the back side of this, there's a slit. And when you go to change this, and you back off this nut, back it way off. Knock this off. It'll pop over to here. And then you're going to want to put a big screwdriver or something and a hammer. And you want to pry this open a little bit. I wish I could get it on the camera. I don't know if you can see it there. Right here. Okay. But uh, you want to pry that open a little bit and this will spin right off free. Uh, don't try to fight it because after that's been clamped down for some time and you've driven and it really locks down. So make sure you spread that open a little bit and uh, the new one goes on nice and easy and everything is good as you can see. There's the New cotter keys, everything's tightened down, everything's got it's nice having new. Now next payday, I'll come over here and there's two more tie rod ends I gotta do. And I'll get them. But I'm on a budget, so you know, I'm just doing one thing at a time here. And just to show you real quick. Not that I'm plugging auto zone, but I'm getting the best deals here locally from there. Okay, here's the other, the old drag link slash center link, whatever. And I think if you take a look, <laughs> uh, yeah, really toast. It's just, remember this thing was on a hunt club, people. They just beat the shit out of it and didn't care. And then let's go over here to this tie rod end over here. <sighs> Uh, it's not, it's not so bad. I've seen worse, but there is some slop. I can't pick it up on the camera, but I can feel it. There's a little slop, but I've seen worse. But that, if you were here, you could just feel the play, and it's, I'm, I'm glad I changed it. It's not even safe to drive. But, uh, anyways, got it done. Uh, uh, more videos, guys. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup work and remember WD40 is your friend or 
any type of penetrating liquid, wouldn't you? When you're doing this penetrating oil. Alright guys, it's coming. A lot of new parts.